Hey guys, Gamer Thousand here. Today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to increase your FPS in uh, basically everything in the computer. So before we start, all these I've seen all these other YouTube videos on how to increase your FPS, blah blah blah. But really, all they show is how to clean your computer. And I'm pretty sure all of us know how to clean our computer. So just and another thing is they all use like fucking top of the line gaming PCs. So I have here. The fucking shittiest PC. It's fine. So it's fucking slow ass CPU. 8 gigabytes of memory is that fucking bad. So we have um, all Intel HD graphics, integrated bullshit, whatever. It's fucking garbage at the end of the day. So, first thing we have to do to improve is you go to the search and you search a performance and you come up with this little thing. So you can fiddle around with all these settings, but for me, I swear to search or where to press adjust for best. And then just for my preference, I do animations in this, like for down here. Everything looks a bit cleaner. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Doesn't really drag down your computer and it actually shows what it is. So like if you were browsing your pictures, you would actually see what photo it is before you just start clicking through all your fucking photos next thing is you were to go to the search and search up power options we come up with this beautiful beautiful thing so that's not supposed to be there but when you i'm pretty sure when you first come here and you've never been here before it would say balanced and power saving yes but what you would do it was click this this is only if you've never been here so you would click this and click high performance Maximum performance will literally just destroy it. Like, it uses so much fucking energy. So I use high performance. Just click X when you're done. Next, you're going to want to go to Steam. And under Counter-Strike, go to right-click it and press Properties. Set Launch Options. Those are the Launch Options, but they look a bit weird in there. So I have them all laid out here. By the way, I, I want to show you. Uh, where did we go? Screen resolution. We have 1600 by 900. That's my, that's a native that it can go. I do not know how to check. Yeah, 60 hertz is the only thing I can go at. But if your computer can only go to 60 hertz, I still recommend putting 144 frequency and refresh. Uh, be oh yeah, frequency and refresh because on 60 when you were to like move your screen like this way this way this way you would see like this weird line tearing it's called screen tear but if you were to put 144 it would for some reason it completely removes it from you so oh my god it's pretty good this i don't know what is it here whatever i don't know what it does i'm going to delete it but they still put it in so i don't know what this does i have no idea what this does this this Tick rate, this is for ESCA because I play it. This is just for when I practice offline. Threads, uh, to check your threads, you would just go on Google and search up your processor and just say, how many threads does my processor have? But like, where you would be at my processor, you put your actual processor, it's kind of confusing. Yeah, so once you're done that, you open up CSGO, and I'll show you the, imp uh, the improvements. So one second. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention is that when you're in game, okay, we're in game. We're gonna go to options, video settings. This is this is my setup, okay? So I do aspect ratio four by three. I play stretched. It might. I think the recording might play stretched. I'm not sure, but yeah, we do eight hundred by six hundred. I I usually play this, but eight hundred by six hundred works. Display mode full screen. I don't fucking care about that. These, well, I don't really think, even, I'm pretty sure even pro players would do this, because really, no one really cares about what the game looks, it looks good either way. Multi-core rendering, this is only if you have, like, more than one CPU. Mine says it has two CPUs, so, I guess I just put multi-core on. Uh, Anti-aliasing, I usually take that off. Uh, texture filtering, it's bilinear, off, 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 blah, 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 you get so now, see, look on the menus. 
And it's still good. It's only because I'm recording. If I were to stop recording, it'd be 117, 118. It would not jump. We would go to inventory. The little hat. The one thing that destroys it is when I were to inspect. Right now. Still, usually it would be obviously because of I'm recording, but if you're not recording, it'll be around 60, 65 to 70. And you can do it like really well around here. So, play a nice little workshop map. Okay, so we're in right now. And I'm actually getting around 60 to 70. Percent. Keep in mind, it's because I. I'm, I'm trying to stress this point out so much. It's because I am recording. Take my word for this, if you will. When you, if, if you were to, ha if you were to have the exact same computer, if you were to be right next to me while I'm not recording, the FPS would be around 200 in this one. Uh, the video or the recording might look a bit laggy. I'm pretty sure. Okay. The recording might look a bit laggy. Jesus. Only because the CPU is very slow and it can't do all the shit for once. I'm just gonna show you. It's still pretty well. See, we're getting around 30 FPS over here. Still haven't dropped under 20. Only these transitions because it has to load into the box. See, 5 straight out of 20 and 30. It's very playable. Here. 30, 40. Nice. 50. Doing pretty well. If we look up, obviously it's going to be If there's any other games you guys want to see, need help with, um, just leave it in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.